picture yourself in this situation. You're, you're traveling towards this distant planet where nobody else lives. You have to survive. You've got to make sure that you know all this science. 26.017.7. I was listening to a speaker who said, the generation of Martian astronauts are today sitting in our nation's middle schools and high schools. That was, that was all I needed to know. That was all I needed to hear. Like, this is it. Mars is going to be our theme, mission to Mars. And when I looked at the standards of the seventh grade science class, they all fit really well in one thread of a story. As long as I found a good story, I could just, I could pace this class in a really interesting and new way. We had pre-launch training, which involved a few different topics that we would need to know as astronauts. Not do all the physical science, and then all the life science, and then end the year with all the Earth. I could actually go cross content. I could really just interconnect all of these great topics as they would logically appear in the story. So a lot of the projects um, we've done have been like with limited materials. We have built like a rocket and tried to test like how hard it would it, it would be to actually ra launch one. There would be four person teams and the success of your team depends on how all the members of that team do. We have like a natural resource engineer, um, we have a chemist, a computer specialist, uh, we have a doctor, we have a botanist. You know, if, if you don't know how photosynthesis works, which is another one of those seventh grade science standards, you're not, your team isn't going to be able to grow your food. How are you going to survive? We have plants that are on a self-sustaining um, system. We have an entire ecosystem just running in our own classroom. I made it really personal to their team. Like, if you don't learn how to, how radiation works, you're not going to know how to protect all the astronauts on your team. We did things like um, topics on particles um, and thermal energy, the atmosphere. No matter where it is on the planet, you go up higher, you're, you have more and more particles now become below you and less and less and less above you. Challenger Learning Center was, it happened at the, just the right time in this year's, uh, in this year's story. Um, it happened in our story right about the time that we were landing on Mars. So to have a completely immersive simulation where you're in NASA's mission control or you're in the orbiting spacecraft, and you're so close to Mars that if you looked out the window, you could see it. Locating the spacecraft. And we got to actually experience these shops firsthand, which was super duper cool. I was in charge of all the data that went through. So before it went to anybody else, it would come to me. And then I would think, oh, is this important or is this not important? So I had so much fun with that job. They have to make sure that they line up and land right next to us at the base. If they don't, you don't get to go home. So everything that we covered, everything that we learned, um, like academically, the application always came back to the team's success. On a test, you get your grade because of how well you answered the questions the teacher gives you. But in this class, it's you get your grade on what you did, on the project you did. And that is a lot more rewarding than getting back a test. Nobody ever asked me, why are we learning this? Not a single kid, not a single kid. Think about that for a second. When was the last class you walked in where you never ever asked yourself, why are we learning this? And I, we achieved that in this class. If we could get people on Mars and like an entire like human civilization on Mars, that would be really interesting. And then different planets into our solar system and then outside of our solar system. And I think that in probably my lifetime, we will probably, we will, inhabit Mars. I think they are going to have that moment that we as a country had when Neil Armstrong stepped on the face of the moon. They're going to have that moment, but in that moment, that footprint's going to be red. And that's going to be an indelling moment in their generation's history.